WhatsApp, 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 amazing, amazing, amazing followers of Decibel Audio Kenya. We are in yet again with a new video. Uh, remember, we are located at the junction of Luthuli Avenue and Kamai Road. When you come along Luthuli Avenue, there's a road called Kamai Road. Get in through Kamai Road and you will find our shop written Decibel Audio Kenya. So today we want to bring you yet another video. But before we do, remember to always like our content, subscribe to our channel and uh, comment any question that you may have. Always remember to ask uh, us ask, uh, ask us any question and we feel we feel very much honored when we answer all your questions. So without further ado, today we want to bring you yet another video. We want to show you how to connect more than one amplifier. Actually, there's a there's a viewer who had asked us to do a video showing how to do more than one amplifier coming from your source. So either from your mixer, equalizer, crossover, blah blah blah. How do you feed a single signal? from the source actually from the amplifier how do you how, how do you multiply the number of speakers that you can be able to do so today we want to show you two ways and we do the first video to show you the first the first the first method of of looping so we are going to show you how to loop signals from one amplifier into the other that way you can be able to manipulate as many as many speakers as you may wish for as you may know in our previous videos we have shown you how to how to know the number of watts to match the number of watts um, that an amplifier can handle. So today we want to show you exactly how how to loop as many amplifiers. If assuming you have 20 top speakers or you have 20 sub speakers, how are you able to get the signal from your mixer going into the amplifier if you have limited inputs? Alex Kapp and Moja, thank you. This is called Masi. Masi is testing a microphone. Yeah, Mass is testing a microphone. So we want to show you how you can be able to manipulate the number of um, uh, speakers that you can be able to do uh, actually coming the signal coming from your amplifier. So we're going to show you method number one. So come along, Alex. Uh, uh, today we are still doing the video with Alex. And uh, I'm being uh, also assisted by Alex with Angalia Nyuma. We are also being assisted by Lucy. This is Lucy. Lucy, say hi. Hi. That is Lucy. Lucy is holding the... The sound card so actually we'll show you the the format that we use we use our phone we have a sound card right over here we, are, we can do a next video showing these ones so the sound card is feeding the microphone that i'm using that's why you're not able to hear any other voice coming from the shop because the shop is still running we still have clients on board and uh we are doing an amazing job so we have signals coming from our mixer all right so as you may know most of these mixers even if they try to manipulate the number of outputs you will never be able to get maximum outputs to serve as many speakers sometimes as your needs may be, all right? So sometimes you may want to serve 20, 30 speakers, top speakers, 12 sub-speakers, you have maybe 12 monitors. So how do you get all these outputs from your mixer? So as you can see, what we are using today is a powered mixer and it has only left and right output. So this is output number one, which is the main output. All right, so this is uh, stereo out, left and right. Then this one also has an output called the auxiliary output right over here. And that is the end of the story. There is no other output that comes from this mixer apart from maybe the headphones, which sometimes becomes becomes uh, difficult to use because you may also be uh, uh, wanting to use uh, your headphones. So we want to show you how we get uh, that signal out. So we are taking the signal out from the mixer from the left and right. Okay, so this is the left cable, the right cable, and we are feeding our first slave amplifier. We are going to call it the slave amplifier because it's going to, to pick the signals, the first amplifier. So this one is called Decibel Audio. This is our own brand. It's called P95, a very powerful, very good amplifier. Uh, among the few features that it has, it has a sub out. It has, um, it has very, uh, it's very efficient. It has frequency, uh, frequency knobs. You can be able to, to change the frequencies, and it's a very, uh, it's a very, uh, amazing amplifier but that's beyond the point for today so the signals are coming in this amplifier so these cables that you have seen the two cables are coming no actually we are feeding the we are feeding the crest audio we are feeding the bottom amplifier it's called crest, crest audio ca 12 so we have we have ports here written as inputs and we have others written as output or channel links so in some amplifiers you're going to see um outputs in other amplifiers you're going to see uh channel links so alex come close 
So this is input, all right? This is also input. So this is input for channel number one, and this is input for channel number two. Then there is something here that are written as channel link. So the channel link is usually an output. So the same signal that's coming in here, you are able to pick it out and feed the next amplifier. But the only issue with that one is, is that you have to be using the similar type of, of uh, speakers from the two amplifiers or from the three amplifiers, from the four amplifiers that you're going to interconnect from there. Signals are in and the links out. So if you are using... For example, the Martin audio speakers. So let's assume you have 20 Martin audio speakers. Then you're able to manipulate through this particular signal. The problem is if you want to connect, for example, the Martin audio speaker together with the, with the full range RCF speaker. So you're going to be mismatching probably the frequency because coming from your coming from your crossover, assuming it's the last component feeding the amplifier, you might have frequencies that are meant for a mid-range speakers but you want to you want to feed a full range speaker that uh, the frequency might not respond so well to the full range speaker so but if you want to manipulate a number of speakers as long as they are of the same watts same type probably just to to manipulate the the number of speakers that you want you use the input signals then you have the output signals so the output signals when you put outputs then you come and feed the input of the second amplifier all right so assuming if we had if we had like this amplifier does not have this one does not have the link out it does not have the the output so this one will serve as the last amplifier on your line so when you feed all these speakers when you feed the speakers here you feed more speakers on this uh, uh slave amplifier this is master then the, all these are the slaves now then uh, you are able not to manipulate as as much signal as you want even if you had another third amplifier that has the input and output we're able to manipulate as many as we may wish so let me show you so this amplifier is not getting any signal from the mixer but when we put the the signal in let me put some music uh kish nicheze music up kidogo to the kamoja pale signal iko hapo inacheza sawa so it's playing so we come here so this is the first amplifier that was receiving a signal. You can hear it playing, okay? Then when you do this one as well, you see, it's playing. So we have we have two amplifiers that are serving from from our main left and right. All right. So that is the first way you connect, you manipulate the number of signals, uh, the, the number of speakers that you can be able to do. And basically, that is it. That is the first way. Then uh, in the next video, we show you how to connect using something called a Y cable that is where you have amplifiers that do not have link out that do not have an output signal so remember to subscribe um we are doing amazing videos but you guys are not subscribing you guys are enjoying the content but the only reward that you can be able to give us back is by subscribing to our channel so kindly subscribe to our channel like our comments uh like our content um comment on our videos and it's going to be amazing. So we are done with the video. I say bye-bye from me. We were doing the video with Alex. So Alex can also say bye-bye. Let me hold the, the, the knee for him. Alex, say bye-bye. That's Alex. Lucy, say bye-bye. Rose wants to say bye-bye as well there. And Jay. Jay, say bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right. <laughs> so it's the end of the video, guys. See you in the next video.